In this grand home lives an even grander dog. Mamma Mia is a Neapolitan Mastiff. And a new mom to four oversized puppies. Already weighing in at over a pound each. With the adults reaching up to 200 pounds, and the word mastiff coming from the Latin word for massive, Neos are one of the largest dog breeds in the world. Mamma Mia takes her work very seriously. And now she's guarding double duty. Because inside she's got four little boys to keep an eye on too. Three are black, and one is blue. Three of the pups, led by ringleader Rocco, dive into dinner. But Blue sleeps through the lunch call. And when he wakes up raring to go, he has a hard time finding his way to the rest of the crew. Luckily, Mom's a guard dog through and through, and she knows who needs looking out for. Neos, because of their extra droopy jowls, are extra drooly, too. Soggy kisses are part of this gentle giant's charm. But right now, Mamma Mia is just showering little Blue with love. At three weeks old, the pups have been packing on the pounds and are already 12 pounds each. The weight of six fully grown chihuahuas. And today, the Neo pups will get a glimpse of just how much bigger they're going to get when they meet Dad Barney for the first time. All 180 pounds of him. This afternoon, guard dog veteran Barney's on pup sitting duty. When Dad's not paying attention, ringleader Rocco leads his gang on a covert mission. A game of hide and seek. Taking cover from Dad, who's trained in the art of detecting, isn't going to be easy. Rocco is doing well. But Odd Man Out Blue is struggling to find a hideout. So when he spots Rocco's hiding place, he tries to join him. Looks like this pup needs to work on his camouflage skills. And when the gang really blows its cover, Blue, worn out from all that hiding, doesn't even notice that Dad spotted their safe house. On a windswept day at the Mastiff Mansion, there's turbulence inside, too, as the ever-growing Neo pups rough and tumble. At five weeks old and close to 20 pounds, the pups are now big enough to have their first tutorial in guard dog scouting. Mamma Mia shows her pups the ways of the guarding world by leading a patrol parade around the property. 
and ringleader Rocco, with his gang of wannabe patrol pups, quickly gets the hang of it. But Odd Man Out Blue decides to go on his own reconnaissance mission. And while Mom scouts for intruders by land, Blue checks for invaders by sea. These odd little pets in their green sand pool are a mighty strange sight. Blue's never seen a hermit crab before. But Blue soon concludes that tiny critters won't hurt anyone. In fact, they might need some protection from his gang of rowdy brothers. So this little pup stands guard over his new crustacean companions. On a steaming hot day in the desert, the four Neo pups are doing all they can to keep cool. Meanwhile, at the Jack Russell's house, it's take your daughters to work day. one of her triplets has caught the modeling bug. It looks like Shy Apple is having a little stage fright. But Coco is hungry for the spotlight. While Buttons is hungry for just about anything. Seems like these pups may need a little guidance. Time for mom to show them how it's done. Now that's something the pups can sink their teeth into. The Jack Russell sisters are finally old enough to test their skills in front of the camera. Coco is glad she's having a good hair day. But Sister Buttons doesn't approve of her wardrobe. Apple can't decide whether she loves or hates the blow dryer. With everyone primped and prepped, it's time for the shoot to begin. Mom's up first and shows the pups how a good model poses with pride. Now it's Coco's chance to shine. But modeling is harder than it looks. Buttons hopes to steal the show, but misses her mark. And Apple thinks this is an action shot. Guess these girls aren't ready for their close-up just yet. And Mom's running out of ideas. Over at the Jack Russell house, it's the last chance for the girls to take the spotlight. Mom Mackenzie joins them, hoping her poise will rub off on her pups. But Coco and her sister Buttons would much rather play. Instead, it's the quiet little underdog Apple who's got the patience to pose. Out in the warm and sunny valley, at six weeks old, 
the Border Collie pups are on the threshold of a working dog rite of passage. Dad Rain is leading his litter to meet the first flock that they'll get to herd. Well, a rookie herder has to start somewhere. With Dad looking on, the two Border Collie boys have even more reason to compete. Shep leads the charge to show his brother who's the best farm dog. But rather than round up the roosters, Shep just ruffles their feathers. Which sends this herding dog running for cover. Next, it's Fly's chance to outshine Shep with Pop in the stands. Unfortunately, the flock ends up showing him who rules the roost. It seems today there are nothing but chickens in this pen. But then Lulu shows up to see what all the commotion's about. Excitable Lulu is still looking for a playmate. Could these feathered critters be friends? The fowls say no. So with both flock and shepherds in retreat, it looks like Lulu's still the lone lamb on this ranch. Back on the border collies home on the range, the eight-week-old pups are big enough to explore the ranch on their own. And hearing a familiar sound, they stumble upon Lulu the lamb, who invites the pups in for a visit. And with two weeks more courage, the Border Collie boys, Shep and Fly, decide to take her up on the offer. Not having many friends her size on the ranch, Lulu likes to get up high so she's a little closer to the farm's other beasts. To the low-riding pups, it sure looks fun being up that high. Shep tries to get up first. with Fly not far behind. Back at the Seeing Eye School, the seven-week-old trainees get official scarves, which tell the boys it's time to work. Today, laid-back Fred and his alert buddy Gus are heading out for their first field assignment. Of course, the boys haven't come here to buy more scarves, as cute as they may look in them. Seeing eye dogs are required to have good manners while working in public. They've come to a place pets usually don't go to practice their best behavior. And various distractions are presented to put them to the test. Usually, little Shepherd Gus has a hard time staying calm. But it looks like mild-mannered Fred is rubbing off on him. Today, it's Fred who's on alert. Maybe Gus is rubbing off on him, too. These two are supposed to be working, not shopping. They may be serious students, but they're still puppies. And the students soon got a friendly reminder that this kind of messing around is too messy for class. Fortunately, they've still got plenty of time to clean up their act.